Okay, let's go to problem number two, or this is the solution to problem number two. Number two, what is the density of 1.36 milliliters of gasoline if it has a mass of one gram? Does gasoline float or sink in seawater? Okay, so if we have um, our givens here, our givens are the um, volume. So we have a volume equal to 1.36 milliliters, and we have a mass equal to just one gram. And again, what are we solving for? Density. So density equals question mark. What's our solution? I mean, sorry, what's our formula? Density equals mass divided by volume. Let's go ahead and solve it. So density equals the mass of one gram divided by the volume of 1.36 milliliters. Pump that into your calculator and you get 0.74 grams per milliliter. So, paraphrase, the density of gasoline is 0.74 grams per milliliter. Okay, there's another part to the question. It says, does it does gasoline float or sink in seawater? Well, we already know from the previous problem that the density of seawater is 1.03 grams per milliliter. And since gasoline is just 0.74 grams per milliliter, it must float. So again, that relationship is density less than, say the density of the object, or in this case density of the fluid gasoline, density of the gas, is less than the density of water. So if it's less than, what does it equal? That equals, it floats, okay? So gasoline when spilled on in, in water or in seawater, um, in some ways, luckily, it will float. It makes it a little bit easier to clean up.